In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaOH plus H2CO3, sodium hydroxide plus carbonic acid. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. You can see I have two sodiums here, put a two here. That gives me a total of four hydrogen atoms, so I'll put a two here. That'll fix the oxygens as well. So this is the balanced equation for NaOH plus H2CO3. Now we can write the state for each substance. So sodium hydroxide, sodium compounds are soluble, and this is a very strong base, so it's going to be aqueous, and it'll dissociate, strong electrolyte. Carbonic acid is a weak acid, so it's still going to be aqueous, but it's a weak electrolyte, won't dissociate. Sodium compounds, very soluble, they'll dissociate, plus water is a liquid. So we have the states, now we can split the strong electrolytes into the ions for the complete ionic equation. We said sodium hydroxide is a strong base. This is a real useful table to memorize for strong acids and strong bases. Here you can see the sodium hydroxide. And for the common strong acids, we don't see carbonic acid on here. So nice to memorize this. So for sodium hydroxide, sodium's in group one on the periodic table, one plus, and the whole hydroxide ion has a one minus. So we'll have two sodium ions, and I won't write the states now, let's write those at the end, plus two of the hydroxide ions. We said that this carbonic acid, it's a weak acid, so it's not going to split apart into its ions. It's a weak electrolyte, so H2CO3. Those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. On the product side, we had a plus, and then this whole carbonate is always two minus. So we'll have two sodium ions, just like the reactants, plus the one carbonate ion, CO3, two minus, and we don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations, so we'll have H2O, two of them. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. I can see in the reactants I have two sodium ions and in the products, cross it out. But everything else is unique, so that makes this the net ionic equation for NaOH plus H2CO3. Let me clean this up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus carbonic acid. You'll notice charge is conserved. We have 2 times the 1 minus, that's 2 minus. So the reactant's 2 minus, we have a 2 minus in the products. Those are the same, and if you count the atoms up, each type, they'll be the same on both sides. So that's balanced as well. So that's it. This is the balanced net ionic equation, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.